This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 297. The Deer in the Headlights Phenomenon, a Communication Blunder in Relationships, by Lisa Merlo Booth of lisamerlobooth.com. Howdy there, I'm Joss Marie, and this is the show where I try and bring you some of the best relationship content out there every weekday with author permission. And actually, if you have any new ideas for blogs or authors, you can let us know right at oldpodcast.com. But first, I'm going to jump right into today's post about what Lisa refers to as the deer in the headlights phenomenon and start optimizing your life. The Deer in the Headlights Phenomenon, A Communication Blunder in Relationships by Lisa Merlo Booth of lisamerlobooth.com I often hear from women that their partners aren't interested in what they have to say, talk very little, and emotionally don't offer much. When I check in with the men about this, the men often report that they're different from the women and don't need to talk as much. They also report that at times, they have no idea what to say if they were to talk. Many men complain that the women seem to talk nonstop and they wish the women would quiet down. After hearing these complaints over and over again, I began to see what both the men and the women were talking about. The men were indeed offering very little, and in response to the men's silence, the women would often talk incessantly in an attempt to get a response from the men. Naturally, the relentless talking led to the men tuning the women out, and that led to the women persisting in talking. Obviously, this dance was and is a lose-lose for both men and women. On the male side of the equation, their lack of communication was at times nothing short of astounding. On many occasions, I watched as the men stared at their partners with a blank look on their faces and literally added nothing to a conversation. They did not nod, utter a word, or even sigh in response to what their partners were saying. This non-reaction was true when the women were giving a compliment, sharing a thought, complaining, or even asking a question. What the women were saying was irrelevant. The men, almost immediately when the women began speaking, would look like a deer in the headlights and say absolutely nothing. I have seen this happen so many times that I now call it the deer in the headlight phenomenon. When I asked the men if they heard what their partner said, without fail they would report they did. When I asked why they didn't respond, they either said because they didn't think a response was needed or they didn't know how to respond. Hmm. On the female side of the equation, the women would watch the men not respond and would assume the men hadn't heard them, hadn't understood them, or didn't get it. The women would then invariably talk more in an effort to explain what they said or to get the men to see what they meant. Not surprisingly, the more the women talked, the more the men tuned out, and the more the men tuned out, the more the women talked. Yikes. If this is happening in your relationship, here's how you fix it. Men. If someone is speaking to you, acknowledge that they have spoken. To do otherwise is just plain rude. Here's a list of options to choose from to help you out. No. Don't forget to mix them up from time to time. 1. Shake your head. Only do this once in a while since it's not very relational if that's all you do. 2. Make a comment. 3. Ask a question. 4. Say you understand. 5. Share a similar story from your own life. 6. Laugh if appropriate. 7. Hold her hand if it's warranted. 8. Say your story she feels that way if it fits. Or nine, if you're really at a loss, tell her you heard her and have no idea how to respond. The bottom line is say or do something and don't just sit there like a deer in the headlights. The more silent you remain, the more talkative she will become. Intimacy requires a sharing of oneself with another, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Start talking. Women. If your partner has that deer in the headlights look and is offering little emotionally or in a conversation, don't keep talking. Stop trying to explain, pleading for him to talk, showing him how unrelational he's being, getting him to understand, and so on. Remember that less is more. Tell him directly and succinctly what you want. If you want him to answer your question, state, will you please answer my question? If you want him to be supportive, say, can you just say, that sounds hard, honey? And if no matter what you ask for, he continues to not be emotionally available, then be clear that he's hurting your relationship. Take the time to figure out what you will do about that and let him know. Do not make false threats, but make sure you follow up your words with actions. Whatever you do, stop chasing him. The more you chase, the more he will run. Challenge Pay attention to how you communicate with your partner and make sure you are holding up your part of the equation. 
Share yourself and listen when your partner shares. Don't over-talk or under-talk, chase or run. Be present and work your side. You just listened to the post titled, The Deer in the Headlights Phenomenon, A Communication Blunder in Relationships, by Lisa Merlo Booth of lisamerlobooth.com. Thank you so much to Lisa for letting us share this post with you today. And real quick before I wrap up, I just wanted to let you know that we've actually partnered up with award-winning journalist Erica Mandy to bring you daily summaries of the news in one convenient email. We do the hard work of combing through the constant headlines so you don't have to, and that covers everything from politics to business and health. Plus, you can actually customize which topics you receive. Not to mention, it's all free. Come by oldpodcast.com slash news to check it out. But that's a wrap. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again tomorrow with a post from Mr. Money Mustache, where your optimal life awaits.